Please put your hands together, D23. This is Madison as Dr. Octopus, a character originally played by Alfred Molina. <laughs> What we see here is that she is crawling in tentacles in LED lights. We are told that there are over 100 pieces of foam that were used to construct those tentacles in all of those segments. This is simply extraordinary. Look at all of you can see that work in the close-up on that detail. That is amazing. Let's give her another hand. Thank you. <laughs> from, from one of my favorite television series, Once Upon a Time, this is Queen Regina's equestrian attire. This look is constructed in faux leather and fabric and designed by Yes May I. Well, of course you may. with a delicious poison apple. Yes, may I? Yes, you may. Thank you, yes! Our next costume was inspired by Ronin Samurai of the Feudal Japan with a tip of the hat to Ahsoka in the series The Mandalorian. Worn by Emily, she tells us that a Ronin Samurai has no master, much like Ahsoka Tano. I saw those lightsabers, I said, I'm gonna move over here. <laughs> the straw hat is such a great detail piece to the rest of the costume. Yes, I told you, look out, those are lightsabers. <laughs> Please put your hands up for Emily. Okay. Um, real cool to the stage, our next Contested. This is the Voodoo Queen, Tia Dalma. <laughs> Created by Francesi Cosplay, it features multiple layers of fabric, puka shells, beads, and lace. Now, many of the fabrics are also custom dyed and distressed. And, uh, is that a bird claw around your necklace? Yes, it is. from Dothamir's Mother Towson, best remembered for her dark magic. Now, Orchid Night Blossom has been used silks, satins, brocades, foam, and pleather to bring this design to life. Look at her hands! Look at her hands! She even has a Night Sister magic piece. Thank you, and put your hands together for this incredible costume. The hands. That's like the first thing I'm telling people not to look at when I'm in drag. Don't look at my hands. <laughs> <laughs> Gives it away. <laughs> Don't look at the hands. Um. <laughs> You're back there laughing. That's not funny. Now let's take a look at this adventurous mashup. This is the inspiration of this costume stretches across many iconic designs of the Spider-Man universe and then fused with the Mandalorian. Our designer, Elizabeth, Lady of Time Cosplay, drafted and printed and finished each piece herself. <laughs> Elizabeth is crossing lines. Put your hands together for Elizabeth. And now, 
presenting the Grand Duchess Anastasia. This imperial gown of over 10,000 Swarovski crystals, each applied by hand. As only a royal should be attired, this dress with train features a myriad of brocades and gorgeous detail. Simply stunning. Thank you, Marina. <laughs> and now, Ashley, from a galaxy far, far away, comes a princess and a Wookiee. It sounds like you and I walked in a room. <laughs> I'm the Wookiee, I'm the Wookiee, I'm the Wookiee. Welcome Raylene and her Star Wars mashup! The coat is made with Velveteen and Chewbacca as faux fur. There's even a messenger bag looking like Chewie's bullet belt. Nice work, really. No Wookiees were harmed in the making of this outfit. Now please say hello to Ava, who is so stylish in her replica of Rose's tea dress from the movie Titanic. Oh, it's the best part of the movie when she looks up at the ship, and then the car gets pulled up. An elegance stems from its refined simplicity with two layers of silk, three layers of lace, appliques, and tulle to also boot. And I hear it floats. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let go, Jack. Don't let go. No sequel to that one. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the cold ray of sunshine as citizen of Sokitano. Ahsoka is seen here in her mechanic look from season seven. <laughs> Are you looking at your watch? Are you telling me to hurry up? What's going on, Ahsoka? Oh, it's time. No. This fabric here is the denim, of course, with vinyl insets and faux leather. And that's exactly what I wear when I change my oil to. Um, Thank you, Nicole Ray! Now that is the end of that category. Let's bring all of those contestants back. Please welcome back to the stage all of these fabulous costumes contestants in the category of Epic Adventures. Okay, so our judges have a lot to consider again. Here's, a, here's a, another fantastic fan costume love happening in front of our eyes. Yes. Um, I want to say this is important. Rose, there was room on that door. <laughs> Thank you. I'm getting that out. Okay, I didn't, it didn't affect my judging, but I just wanted to say that in front of everyone. Um, the beading on Anastasia is hand done, and there's like little hidden things in there. So it's, you may not be able, you can see that it's beautiful, but there's a lot of artwork to that as well. Oh, um, 5,000 beads. 5,000? No, 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 Crystals. Yeah. And you've never seen a mashup, mashup of a Wookiee and Leia before. That was new to us. Um, and Doc, I, I mean, just everyone was just amazing, beautiful, and wonderful work. Everyone's just amazing. This is a tough one. This and performance-wise, the LARPing, I have to say, the care coming in here as the character, yes. was very impressive. They were they were talking to us. It was I was like, I feel like they were in the movie. Yeah. And Spider Mandalorian, we've never seen that. There's a lot of new things here yeah. today. And you know what's new? Nina, you do a really good Wookiee roar. You do. Listen, I'm gonna let you know. I'm, I I walked in the door, uh, and Alice, and I'm leaving a Wookiee. A Wookiee. <laughs> That's not shop. This back this back's hairy for a reason. Okay. <laughs> Laugh it up, Fuzzball. <laughs> Are we ready to find out our winner? Here yes. we go. Please put your hands together for the rumor, the legend, the mystery, Grand Duchess Anastasia! A 